hi 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 it finally happened it finally did oh, did not think that was gonna happen did not think that was gonna happen finally i am monetized it took me about seven to eight months i will count it and let you know the exact months it took but it took me longer than others but <laughs> really much happy dance happy dance happy dance happy dance Ugh. okay okay that's enough that's enough so monetization how do you go about that if you're interested in hearing about my journey and what you need to do to get monetized stay tuned and let's get to it oh you you yes you if you've not subscribed to me please subscribe and give me a little like if you like what you hear and subscribe yes Put a notification on all so that you don't miss out on all the good things I have planned for you here on Mommy and Zan. Thank you so much. Happy dance. Happy dance. Okay, so guess what? I just counted it. I started in February and I got monetized like two days ago. So it's eight months. Uh, it took me eight months to be monetized and it was a lot of work um, actually I did not start like truly like thinking about monetization because when I first started out I did not know anything I didn't know that I could actually make money from YouTube I just started it out um, I started out as just doing it for fun and just because um i work out and it's my hobby and i love working out so i thought that i would actually um just upload videos on youtube i did not think about the monetary aspect of it when i found out about the monetary aspect of it then i start putting a few things in place i had to do a lot of research 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 hey if you don't know already which should be common knowledge you need 4,000 public watched hours plus you need to have a thousand subscribers to be monetized on YouTube yes and um, I will just tell you my journey and tell you how um, I became um, monetized over the well, eight months and um, yeah so first of all, a lot of people think that YouTube is easy. It's not easy. When I started, I didn't think it was going to be as difficult as it was for me. Not to, not to deter you. It's just that you need to put a lot of planning in place and you need to research, research, research. Because there are certain things that I did not know. And because I did not know it, it kind of um, like took me a step back. Like, for example, I did not know about copyright when I first started out. And copyright was um, a big thing that you couldn't get um, a copyright claim. You can't, if you get a copyright claim, it's okay because you can also take it off. I did a video on it. You can actually take the claim off in the your youtube studio but if you get three strikes then they can take your channel down and those were some of the things and once i started researching and i start finding about finding out about the different things i i was just like oh my god am i gonna continue this oh my god am i gonna continue this oh am i gonna continue this so i thought okay i'm on the road already and then um one of the errors so there are a few things mm. i'm just going to tell about some of the bad decisions that i made and some of the good decisions that i made so one of the things i did not know i did not know that um at first when i was checking when i was checking my youtube studios i thought i had like four thousand almost four thousand watch hours but i did not know that it wasn't watch hours because it was showing me something 
else and I was like confused and then after I verified my account like all the hours that I saw there before just disappeared and I got really really confused I'm like what's happening what's happening so I was confused I did not know um, the difference between views and watch hours and all of that so you just need to do your research to ensure that you know what you are um, you're doing so that you don't end up losing time because it does take a lot of time sometimes to to make sure that you have videos uploaded to make sure that your videos are um, adhering to the rules and regulation regulations of YouTube um, especially if you're planning on being monetized so you just need to do your research um, ensure that you have a niche um, research what current trends are try to keep up with current trends um, just do what you need because trust me it, it's not easy but I found that it was really fun for me in the end it was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god um, I'm getting there I'm getting there and when I saw this here just put it there that that's when I got to like I got to to 3000 something almost of more almost 4000 watch hours and it was just like oh my god oh my god it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and I was so nervous I was like oh my god will it happen will it happen yeah so I was nervous yes I was nervous because at the beginning of my journey I did sort of pay for some views and I got really worried that they would pick it up and then I would get in trouble but I think they took it away when I actually verified my account so I did not have those views anyways so you just have to be careful not to buy any views but um from like there are a lot of um people out there um promoting that you can get views you can get watch hours really quick just be careful because if youtube finds out you might lose your channel or you might um end up like back to back straight back where you started um so just be mindful of these things you need to do your research 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 and that's what i did throughout the process i researched i use tubebuddy that's a tool that you must have i also use vidiq that's another tool those are two very good tools to help you out and i also subscribe to them on youtube so i kind of watch their videos and see the hints and tips that i needed to follow in order to get where i am i'm still not where i want to be but finally finally monetized so so after I got my 4,000 watch hours, which was like mad, mad, mad. Um, I was in different groups, different support groups, groups that will help you. So I'll tell you something. If you are planning on becoming monetized and you, you, um, you're not well known on here, it's best, it's best to find a community that you can work with. YouTube is a community. You want to subscribe to people. You want to you want to um, interact with people that are on the same path as you are because they understand how to support you more. Sometimes your family members and friends, they do not know how to support you. Well, family members and friends, if you're here and you're watching this, you know how you can support us. Watch our videos for us. Help us watch like and share our videos for us and sometimes you need to ensure that you tell people to watch like and share share and subscribe your videos because they will watch it and they won't they won't think sometimes it's not common knowledge to people who are not content creators so you need to tell people watch like subscribe watch put that notification button on Put that notification button on and you have to kind of put that in because sometimes even us when we're watching we don't realize that we needed to subscribe or we needed to like to that particular video even though we are enjoying that video but just to support the content creator you need to like 
like like subscribe watch continuously mm. so that we know that you're there for us but it's been a long road hey long road to travel it's it was long long to me sleepless nights i'm worrying about whether or not i'm gonna make it am i gonna make it oh and by the way i didn't i forgot i did not say within a year so you need to get your four thousand public watched hours plus you 1000 subscribers within a year in order to be monetized so if you have that channel for lot for the last two years for the last three years for the last four years and you finally hit your watch hours you might want to find out if you can still be monetized because um it stipulates in the regulations that it needs to be within a year so yes so when i finally got it um few things to know they said i'll send you an email after you have verified and after you've put all your um personal details on there but not all the time you don't get an email readily however you can continuously check in your youtube's um studio because most of your information most of the information will hit your youtube studios first before you get an email so a lot of people don't know this so if you're in your youtube studios you can check your analytics you can check your your um youtube page it will tell you it will tell you whether or not you are um monetized and then it and, and you will see that information and it just tells you what to do if you click click on the on the link on the link words at the moment um once you click on the dollar sign in your youtube studios as well that's what i that's what i live on i'll show you the picture right there that's that <laughs> i was checking every day did my watch hours go up did i lose any sub oh my god i'll tell you another story when when i um like when youtube did their um their 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 audit oh my gosh i was so worried i was thinking oh my god what's going mm. on am i gonna lose am i gonna lose all my subscribers because a lot of people are talking about subscribers and stuff like that um they've lost 50 500 but i did lose somewhat because mine were like natural i i gained them naturally i did not lose a lot i did i lost like 50 or 80 but I was so worried because some people said they they lost like a whole thousand and I'm like, oh, please, 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 please. But it has been a journey. So is it worth it starting up YouTube in 2020? I think so. You just need to know that you, you will have to put the work in because it's not easy. You'll have to put the work in. Um, I hope you find some of this useful. So you have to ensure that you have your 4,000 watch hours, public watch hours, your 1,000 subscribers, and it should be within a year. Thank you so much for watching. If you find any of this useful, please, please, please leave it in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and put that notification button on so you don't miss out on all of the good things I have planned for you. Thank you so much.